everybody, it is Emma from High Noon Studios. So if you're new here, I make videos about candle making, being a small business, all things like that. Today it's actually a little bit off topic. On my Instagram, I just asked people to leave their impressions of me and my store. I didn't really give them any instructions, I just wanted them to go wild. So here's how it turned out. I'm going to be reading through all the responses that I got and reacting. So let's get into it. first reaction left was your house always smells amazing um yes actually most times if someone comes home they can tell that i've been making candles just when they walk through the door i wouldn't say always because i don't make candles every day as much as i'd love to but yes it's definitely smelling pretty great around here between making the candles testing the candles having just like tons of candles around the next impression is i also feel like you maybe feel pressured to make perfect things sometimes um on the money 100 percent it's really crazy and i'll get into some more of these but some people who don't know me really know me which is crazy some of you guys really seem to pay attention but yes i am probably a little bit harder on myself than i need to be um not so much with candles there's only like one or two candle collections i can ever think of that just did not see the light of day but youtube videos when i used to do resin art literally anything else i have so many scrapped projects scrapped ideas that just didn't make the cut i've made and recorded and edited about 15 youtube videos that i just ended up deleting because they weren't how i liked them i used to throw away resin pieces all the time and like i said i haven't really done that with candles i don't know if that speaks to just like i've calmed down a little bit or maybe i am just happier making candles and i am better at it but yeah i definitely delete a lot of like you can go through my instagram and it'll be different in a week because i just archive posts that don't really sit with me anymore but yeah i'm definitely i wouldn't say i'm a perfectionist but i definitely lean towards perfectionism it's not something that i have to have but i push myself towards that probably a little bit more rigidly than i need to we all have our faults um i'd rather be a little bit too hard on myself than just put out like half-hearted products so yeah i'm definitely harder on myself than i probably should be all right so the next impression is sweetest ever so helpful and kind you like to try out new hobbies you think would be fun um yes absolutely i kind of cycle through too many hobbies if that can even be a thing i really just pick up stuff that i find interesting and i drop it just as fast I'd say that candle making is probably my longest running hobby, probably because I've made it into a business, but I did cross stitching for like a month. I did crystal collecting. I was doing sewing, weaving, painting, digital art. Like I literally, I just have so many things and I'm very weird about that. I don't know if it's like me being an Aquarius or what. I like change. I like new things. I like to mix things up and I think that translates into what I do with my time so what I'm into right now will probably not be what I'm into in a month or two from now there's only a few things that are constants and I can tell that something is a constant for me if I pick it up again multiple times like video games I always go back to even if I have a phase where I sort of drop out of it I always come back to playing video games I always come back to reading things like that where I know that if I come back to it, even if I've dropped it off for a couple of months, I know it's more than just like something that I liked in passing. But yes, I love staying busy. I think as much as I love my friends and as much as I love like exploring and going out, obviously nobody's going out right now, but I've also never been one to be like uncomfortable with my own company. I think I've always been really comfortable just being my own company. So. I do genuinely enjoy just like hanging out by myself and doing things. I know that sounds really dorky, but yeah, I definitely have never been the person to be short on things that I'm trying out on hobbies. So spot on with that one. The next impression is soft aesthetic, probably smells incredible, super sweet gal. Um, I guess I smell fine. I don't really, I don't really wear perfume or anything, but I'm sure I just, you know, like my hair and stuff probably picks up all the scents that I work with. Um, soft aesthetic, not right now, but for the most part, I like soft things. I'm very like My Melody, Karomi mixed together. Like I feel like I dress like this, but I also really like soft things and fuzzy things and pink and flowers. So yeah, soft aesthetic 
for like decorating and then like this aesthetic for me personally but you're not wrong on that one i do love a good soft aesthetic and the next impression is that you massively care about making candles yes i honestly did not think i would care so much when i started it out i just saw them all over pinterest and i thought they were pretty so i just did it and then i had the idea for animal crossing candles and it just kind of spiraled from there i did not expect myself to be so passionate about candle safety environmentally friendly materials sustainable practices like i really just sort of not only did i like develop my brand and what i want but i feel like i learned about myself a lot like i've always been one to recycle and try to cut down on my carbon footprint but it was never something that i was actively like trying to change and concerned about so the fact that we can plant a tree with every order that we can reuse all of our materials that we can use carbon neutral shipping and things like that is so cool as well as like with candle safety and creating like an all natural clean burning candle to be honest, when I used to buy candles, I did not look at the ingredients. I didn't really care what was in it. I just wanted it to be pretty and to smell good. So the fact that I'm kind of looking at them in a different way now, I really did not expect myself to give so many fucks, to be quite honest. But I do, and it's awesome, and you are absolutely right. And the next one is, your store always looks really popular. I love your creativity with new themes. Um, thank you, that is really sweet. That is one of my favorite things about candle making is to create the whole image around a candle like yes the candle making is fun but i really love making the label look a certain way taking the product photography in a certain way wording the social media posts so that they're like thematic like especially with my clue candles i wrote a whole murder mystery and i put the answers to the murder mystery in the candles so it's just that sort of thing i absolutely live for i'm sure you guys can tell because I kind of do like the most with some of my themes. Um, and then to the, your store always looks really popular. That's really sweet. And I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm not doing well. I am really proud of my growth. I am really thankful for my growth. But I think that social media can be really deceiving. And while, you know, it might say sold out of my website, you I might have only had two in quantity or something like that. So I appreciate your support. And I don't think that I'm, not doing well but i don't want anyone to look at my store and get discouraged about their own sales or think that they're not doing something right like my sales are struggling just as much as anybody else's i'm down 80 percent it's just the time of the year we're in a pandemic it's totally fine and i'm very grateful for the sales that i still do have the support that is shown regardless of money spent like i just love the comments that i get the shares that i get things like that so while it is really great it's not probably what it seems so don't get discouraged don't you know put your favorite not that i'm your favorite but don't put your favorite people on a pedestal because there probably is a lot of stuff behind the scenes that you'll never know about so while i do really appreciate that sort of encouragement it's not exactly true but i will say that i am doing a lot better than i thought that i would i'm very grateful for it and i'm excited to see what the next year brings but yeah this year has just been hard for everybody and that's okay the next one is just adorable i feel like you go through fandom phases of different interests aesthetics yes i feel like i kind of touched on this already i also have like a goldfish brain so i forget pretty much everything after it happens so i can re-watch shows that i loved or reread books that i loved and it feels totally fresh again so that's also something the reason I think that I kind of cycle through things so quickly is that I just like straight up can't remember it, but it's really great to revisit the things that I know that I loved and get sort of like a, a second chance at experiencing it again. And yes, I do go through fandoms and stuff like that pretty quickly. So yeah, I was really surprised by this one because it is super spot on. I mean, even just like if you look back on this channel, I really changed how I dressed within like a month so you can see that happening week to week i cannot stay the same i'm constantly changing something about myself about what i'm doing about what i'm interested in can't tell you why but yeah you were absolutely right i was really surprised to read this one because i was like do i know you do i know you and i don't remember like <laughs> some of you guys really hit the nail on the head and i was kind of blown out of the water this one says adorable person i want to be friends best smelling candles of the doom that has been 2020 um the doom that has been 2020 is probably the only way that i will refer to this year 
ever again when I talk about it. I love that so much. Also, if you want to be my friend, you can be my friend. I am terrible at messaging. I always forget to text back, but I would love to be friends with you. Honestly, I feel like we're out of the age where having online friends is weird considering you can't see your in-person friends anymore anyways. So all of you guys are my internet friends. So yes, if you want to be my friend, you're my friend. I would love to have you but thank you. I'm very honored that my candles are the best smelling in this doom of 2020. Um, I hoped that they're the best smelling in the mediocre or good 2021. We shall see, but thank you very much. All right, and then this one is, you either binge a series in one sitting or take a whole year to finish a show. Yes, I felt very called out for this one because I either don't go to bed and I watch something and then I finish it in a night, or especially with shows that someone has recommended to me. I don't know what it is about me that I just like can't do it. And everyone who recommends shows to me like knows me well enough to know that I'd like it. So I'm really only hurt of myself by missing out on that opportunity. But like, if you tell me to watch something, I will try my hardest and it just will not happen. I've had people telling me to watch shows for years and I'm like two episodes in. I don't know what that is, why that is, but yeah. I either will watch something super fast and then I'm like spiral about it for a couple days because I loved it so much. Or someone will tell me to watch something and then a year later I'll maybe start it and then I won't finish. I don't know why I'm like that. Sorry if you've ever recommended something to me and you really wanted me to watch it because like it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Somebody just said cute AF. Thanks. It's always interesting when people call me cute because I don't think I'm cute but it's very nice. Thank you so much. I got a lot of really nice, like, I like your style. You're so cute. I posted my first um, IGTV with, like, myself in it to announce my holiday collection, like, a week ago. I'm not sure. That was the first time I've ever really, like, appeared on my Instagram page. Normally, it's, like, my hand and nothing else. Or I think I had a photo from really far away in, like, February. So, that was the first time I had ever been on my Instagram page and that's where I have the biggest following so I was super nervous and everybody was so nice to me so thank you so much everyone who was like oh I like your dress you're cute whatever that was super nice is very appreciated because I'm sure this is the case for a lot of people out there it is not easy sometimes to be yourself so thank you and if you are struggling with confidence this is your sign to just wear whatever you were thinking of wearing post whatever you want to post do whatever you wanted to do like if anything this year has taught us that life is too short and there is no reason not to do the things that you want to do so if anyone's mean to you send them to me i'll bully them for you just be yourself and thank you again to everybody who's been so nice to me i'm gonna leave it at this last one which is my favorite it just says 10 spiders in a trench coat you're not wrong it's my secret identity that I have not revealed to anybody, but I guess the secret's out of the bag. The spiders are out of the trench coat. I wish I was a good editor or animator so I could like unzip myself and do that, but I can't and I'm not. So you'll just get the funny joke. This is my brother who sent this. I don't, you know, expect anyone to be this weird with me unless they know me personally, but I laughed at this for like 10 minutes and I said, thanks for the content. So <laughs> this will probably be the, the thumbnail and the title. But those are pretty much all of the impressions that I got. If I skipped something that you sent in, I'm sorry, like I'm not trying to hurt feelings or anything, but a lot of them were very similar. I think a lot of you guys have a very good impression of me already, which is crazy. A lot of people just said really nice things, which is super sweet, but I was looking for you guys to like roast me or something. So some of these were really good. All of them were very kind. I'm very grateful for anybody who like takes the time to indulge me in the weird stuff I want to do. Like, I was really genuinely surprised. I thought like two people would answer and they'd be like, your candles are pretty. So thank you guys so much for like taking this on and just embracing my weird ideas. And thank you for being so nice and supportive and wholesome. Like, I really don't deserve you guys, but I love that you're all here. So thank you so much. Um, if you want to participate in a video like this, make sure you're following my Instagram. That is where I post this kind of stuff the most often. Sometimes I ask stuff on Twitter, but I, like I said, I get the best response on Instagram, so I'll usually put stuff up on there. That'll be in the description with all the other information, and that is pretty much the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to be in the candle club, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.